So today we are going to discuss the causes of atrioventricular blocks or AV block. We previously discussed the causes of cardiac arrhythmias in last few lectures and we discussed one of the major causes for atri uh, cardiac arrhythmias was AV block or atrioventricular block. By AV block or atrioventricular block we simply means any any interruption or block in the transmission of cardiac activity or impulse of contraction or electric impulse from atria into the ventricle. The only way of for transmission of electrical impulse or cardiac impulse from the atria into the ventricles is through the AV bundle, atrioventricular bundle. We have discussed again and again that the electrical activity of the heart starts in the SA node, sinoatrial node. From the SA node it goes through the internodal fibers into the AV node and from the AV node atrioventricular node it goes to the bundle of his or the AV bundle through the Purkinje fibers into the ventricle. So impulse started from the sinoatrial node goes through the internodal pathways and through the AV node and then to the bundle of his into the Purkinje fibers and reach the card the ventricle and the, in the ventricle it causes the depolarization and the depolarization causes contraction of the heart. That's something we previously discussed again and again. So here we have the atria. Here we have the atria. Here is the interatrial septum. Here we have the ventricles. Here is the right ventricle. Here is the left ventricle. And this electrical impulse or the uh, conduction fibers, they have been enlarged. The sinoatrial node, the internodal fibers, the AV node and the bundle of his in the Purkinje fibers. They have been enlarged here. Now what are the major causes that interrupt or block the transmission of impulse from the atria into the ventricle? The impulse generated, the impulse is generated in the SA node. It is slightly delayed on the AV node before reaching into the ventricle. But it is mainly the sinoatrial node which generates the impulse. So what are the different causes which will block this impulse, which will stop this impulse from reaching into the ventricle. So the, the most important cause for the block or the interruption in the, in the transmission of this impulse will be ischemia of AV node or AV bundle. Ischemia. If ischemia, if this node, the artery, the blood vessel which is supplying blood to this node, if it gets blocked, so oxygen will not be supplied to Blood will not be supplied to this node, AV node, and oxygen will decrease in this node, and the activity of AV node will go down. So this will decrease the transmission power of the AV node. So ischemia of the AV node or AV bundle, ischemia of this region or this region, AV node or AV bundle, AV node or AV bundle, this is one of the major causes for AV block. This is one of the causes which interrupt the transmission of impulse from the atria into the ventricle, from the atria into the ventricle. Then another cause for the AV blocks is compression. Compression of the AV bundle. This, in this bundle, it can be compressed. It can be compressed by scar tissue or calcified portion of the heart muscle. It can be compressed when it is compressed then its ability to transfer the impulse transmission is decreased. The impulse, the, its, its ability to transfer the cardiac impulses or the electric currents uh, uh, decreases. So this compression of the AV bundle by any scar or any calcified portion of the heart muscle is another cause for AV block. And this AV block is then going to contribute to cardiac arrhythmias. Now another, another cause for atrioventricular block is inflammation. If AV node or AV bundle it get inflamed due to some inflammatory process which could be due to myocarditis, which could be due to myocarditis or rheumatic fever, that will be another cause for decrease in impulse transmission or decrease in the ability of AV bundle or AV node to transfer the impulses from the atria to the ventricle. And the final 
cause for the AV block could be extreme stimulation by the vagus nerve. We have discussed again and again and again that the heart is supplied by both sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves. Sympathetic nerves basically increase the heart rate. It stimulates the SA node, it stimulates the heart, it increases the heart rate, it increases the contraction power of the heart. Parasympathetic nerves basically decrease the heart rate. They decrease the conduction power of the SAV node or AV bundle. So these are basically the causes of atrioventricular block. On all of these causes basically contribute to cardiac arrhythmias. To summarize, the causes of atrioventricular block would be ischemia of the AV node or bundle, AV bundle, compression of the AV node or AV bundle, inflammation of the AV node or AV bundle, or stimulation of the vagus nerve, which has basically the parasympathetic nerves, which decrease the transmission power of the AV node and AV bundle and decreases the heart rate. So these are basically causes of AV block. Thanks a lot for watching the video.